the business end of the 2017 NCHA Futurity, and I'm here with the co-champion of the limited non-pro final, Ali Good, who rode sneakish and scored a 222. Congratulations to you, Ali. Thank you. Tell me what it's like to be a champion in the Will Rogers. Um, it's really not a feeling you can ex- like explain. It's pretty. It's so exciting to be able to win something, especially at the Futurity in the Will Rogers. Now, you have won in the Will Rogers before. Explain that. Yes, uh, back in 2010, I won the junior scholarship cutting for the Summer Spectacular. And ever since then, I haven't won anything in there since. <laughs> Tell us what it's like to go out there and compete in the non-pro, in the limited non-pro. Um, it's a, a lot more nervous just because you're with a bunch of people that are all non-pros and youth kids tend to make a lot more mistakes than what the non-pros do. But it's a, definitely a level you really got to step up on and be able to compete with them. Can you take us through your run? Um, yes. I was planning just to go down there because I went after Lance and just have a clean run and get through it because I was last. But after my first cow, I kind of had an urge to maybe I had a good run going. And then my second cow... I don't even know what cow it was. It wasn't anything we had talked about. It was just up there, so I cut it. And then I cut my last cow with like 23 seconds left and knew I had a good run going, so I just kept riding strong and was hoping I was doing good. Sometimes you create your own luck and that right cow pops out at the right time. (laughs) Yes, for sure, because that second cow, I have no idea what cow it was. All I know is black and it was standing right up there. So you obviously had Lance in your sights who'd marked that 222. Um, Did you feel like you'd really done it, you know, with the way the run felt? Yes, I was, I knew I did good. It was a very good run and felt really good. So I knew I had a good score coming. I just didn't know it would be as good as Lance's. Did you find it hard being last out? Did you have to watch the cows or did you just have faith in your help? Faith in my help. I'm not the best cow watcher, I'll go ahead and tell you that. Um, my granddad, he's always been great at watching cows, and Tag Rice is very good at watching cows also. So I just listen to them to tell me what to cut, and I try my best to cut that. Okay, now your granddad is Bill Riddle. Tell us how much of an influence he's been on your, your cutting style and career. He has literally taught me everything I know, and I work with him every day, and I have my whole life. And anything that I need help with, I go straight to him because I know that he can teach me right and it's, I don't want to learn from anyone else because he's experienced so much, but he's been a great teacher to me. What would be the biggest takeaway, the thing that is really driven home that's um, it's been some great advice that you've, you've gone by? Um, I don't know. There's, there's been so much. He's just, and when I was younger, I didn't even care to know rules. And then he's never taught me anything until I was like, I'm ready to learn. So going to his clinics and being around him all the time he's taught me so much that there's too I mean too many things that's influenced me really good. Now you've had a pretty good year because you've also been on the road tell us about that. Yes I'm hauling for the uh, senior youth top 15 and I bought a horse in May and I've done extremely well and I go almost every weekend and show him and I showed him the Mercuria at Congress which was my first Mercuria made the finals there and placed third So this year has definitely been one to remember. Okay, and tell us about Sneakish. We bought him here at the cell last year from Austin Adams, and Tag Rice has him because he works on my dad's place, and he trains for my dad, that that side of the family. And I rode him four times before I showed him, no, I rode him three times before I showed him here. And he's been easy to train and has been, Tag has done very well on it, like good job training him. And he's, Tag said he's been very easy to get along with and to train. He's a pretty cool horse. So you'll keep riding him? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to show him at all the big age events. And I'm not going to weekend him. He's too good to go and just weekend all the time. But I'll definitely show him at all the age events. Well, congratulations. Great job. Thank you.